For those of you that are building a new SharePoint intranet this year, or even just improving an existing one, we've put together a handy set of tips that will help you add value to your intranet. And it's based on best practice, but also our many years of experience in delivering intranets. From branding to navigation, page templates, and even governance, we hope that the following pointers will help you to increase engagement and level up the usability and utility of your digital workplace. The first tip is talk to your users, get their feedback, understand what employees need and where there are currently pain points with the experience. There are different ways that you can do this. First of all, we found that usability testing is a really great way to understand how the current intranet is failing. You can set people tasks and have them try and find information on the intranet and observe them and see how they get on. And you can learn some really interesting stuff from doing this. Also, you can do focus group sessions or individual interviews where you, you hone in on, on what that person actually needs to do to complete their work and where there are frustrations and pain points and where there are opportunities for an intranet to help them do that better. And then also you can get um, quantitative feedback using an employee survey where you can basically see which areas you need to focus on to get the maximum impact across the whole organization. Think carefully about the navigation. How can you better help people find what they need? Navigation is a tricky thing to get right. You can follow some sort of best practice tips by not doing things like using complex acronyms and use plain language that anyone who just started yesterday in the business can understand. But also you can do activities like card sorting, where you actually have, an, have a set of people help you to work out how they see information being structured. You can understand how their mental model is of the information that's out there in the organization. And that will help you find consensus and a better navigation that works for more people. You can even then validate the navigation by doing a tree test where that you actually have people sit in front of the navigation and use it to find information. And you can see where they go wrong and make adjustments to make sure that that navigation works better for people. Branding and imagery. First impressions count. So it's important that your intranet looks good. It will help with adoption and it will help create trust on behalf of your users. One of the things you need to remember here is that you don't need to create lots of decoration to add branding to your intranet. If you have content imagery that is on brand, then that will go a long way to helping you create a more engaging and attractive intranet. Also, create branded icons and use them in a house style. Make sure that different content owners know how to use those icons and the imagery that you've set. If you want to take this further, you can use something like Lightspeed's brand customizer, where you can inject custom company fonts and have much more control over the color palette that is applied to your intranet. You can even have sub-branding for different brands that your organization might have. When you carried out your research and spoke to users or did surveys, what were the areas of functionality that people focused on? They were either ones that were missing or ones that do exist on the intranet but could be made better. These are the killer apps that you need to focus efforts into in order to get maximum value from the intranet. It could be making sure that people can find the right apps and services to, do, to complete tasks that they need to as part of their work. It could be that you need to provide policy information. It could be that you need to provide a people directory that's fully searchable. Or it could be that you need to provide something like an LMS uh, via your intranet. These are the kinds of things that you can hone in on and focus your energy. Don't spend time or money on things that will have little utility. A common problem with intranets is that they present information in so many different ways that it overwhelms the employees. And they have to think very hard every time they land on a page about where the information they're seeking actually is. The way to combat this is to make sure that you have very tightly controlled and consistent templates for presenting certain information for certain use cases. Now, these can vary from things like triage pages, where somebody lands on a page about a particular topic, and then you're looking to direct them to the correct subtopic for the detailed information they're seeking. Or it could be a guidance page that has multiple steps, and you need to present that in a very easily understandable and digestible format. It could be an initiative or campaign page, which is about providing overview information, as well as latest news, 
assets and even conversations. Also, there are things like department and business unit landing pages. If every business unit has a different style and way of presenting information, this can be very confusing for users. Search is often overlooked as part of a new intranet project. And that's traditionally because people assume employees won't search the intranet because they're used to poor search tools in the past. And that's partly true, but it needn't be the case anymore. The search tools are much better these days. We'd advise focusing on three particular areas with regard to search. Firstly, provide where possible contextual search tools that allow people to search on a smaller area of the content. This allows them to browse first of all to a certain point and then search the remaining small body of content. Secondly, create verticals and additional filters on the main search experience so that again people can reduce the scope of their search to a particular type of content like news. Lastly, people aren't great searchers typically, naturally. Give them some help with some tips um, and ideally provide these in context. This will help them get more out of search because they'll better understand how it truly works. Don't underestimate the work needed to produce and maintain high quality content for your intranet, from news posts to how do I guides and so on. You can't do it alone. Make sure that you establish a network of content owners and make sure there's a process in place to ensure that content is reviewed and reapproved regularly. And if it doesn't happen, then it expires and is removed from view, including from search results. You shouldn't need to train your users on how to use the intranet, but you may want to provide orientation content that explains some fundamental concepts to them like explaining when to store things on the intranet and when to use Teams or OneDrive. Content owners will need to be trained on not only how to use SharePoint, but also in how to use the intranet in the way that you have deemed will best support your employees. They need style guidance, tuition on selecting the right page templates for different purposes. They may need help choosing appropriate and on-brand imagery, etc. Training everyone will help ensure consistency, which will boost adoption. You need to have a governance plan for how the intranet will be managed. Who will have permission to do what? Who will be able to grant and remove access? Who is responsible for content? Who is responsible for liaising with Microsoft on technical issues? You also need to establish a governance committee and a regular meeting schedule, at least once a quarter. You need to talk about the evolution of the platform on these sessions, not just the day-to-day -day admin. For example, if a new initiative is launched, or a restructure has occurred, how can the intranet be adapted or used to support that change? I hope those tips will help you improve your SharePoint intranet this year. Now, some of the features that we showed are from our product called Lightspeed 365. Essentially, it's a set of SharePoint web parts that you can easily add to a new intranet or even an existing intranet that's in need of an upgrade. If you'd like to know more about Lightspeed 365, then please reach out to us at lightspeed365.cloud.